Hey guys, how you doing? Good Camp here. Tutorial on how to set up your Android memo pad. Um, I've literally just unboxed it, so I'm going to take the device out of the box and then let's get started. So, power button. So as it boots up, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so English, United States, I'm going to choose English UK because that's where I am and it needs to be relevant to the settings of where you are. So choose your country and forward. Language input, English UK at the top and next. Add network, I'm going to sign in to my network here. So I'll sign into my network, Gordy Wi-Fi Vossum, that is me. Okay, connected, so next. Do you have a Google account? Now if you do, you would obviously say yes. If you don't, then just say no and it will prompt you to create one. I already have one, so I'm going to say yes. It will ask you to sign into your device um, or set one up, like I said. So I will cut the screen so that I can protect information and just pop your email address, your Gmail account and the password for that account in to the device. So once you've put that in, it will say accept terms of agreement, terms of service. So just say yes and carry on in. Obviously have a read through them as well. And then it will ask you if you want to back up and restore your device and if you want your location to be recorded, personalize this to yourself. I'm going to say yes and entertainment. So do you want, so do you want to set the details up for a card so you can purchase apps and things? I'm going to say not now don't have time but if you do want to do that then carry on and say set up credit card as there. Now it will restore the device because I've chosen to back everything up and as it says it might take up to five minutes and that was really quick get cloud storage space and get the latest information create new or sign in you don't necessarily have to do this so I'm just going to click next it will say sync data. Do you want to synchronize any of these data? I'm not going to do that. Synchronize email messages, contacts, calendar. I'm going to say no. So obviously if you want to synchronize all these apps that are currently connected to your account, tick the box at the top. I'm not going to do that. Set date and time, automatic. So if you've already put in your country and your location, you might not have to do this. Just put automatic. Otherwise, select time zone. Okay, do you want to be connected to ASUS, obviously they are, or ASUS, however you want to say it. I'm going to say no thanks and carry on forward. And that's setup complete. So that took less than two minutes for me to talk you through that. Once you're done, just tick the box. Now what you'll see is your homepage is preset with standard weather, maps, um, specific apps. You would obviously personalize these to yourself. It is an Android device. So pop yourself into the apps, get yourself over to Google Play Store, which is just there at the top. And then you can obviously personalize this device to yourself. If you haven't synchronized the apps, specific apps will not be on the tablet for you. Um, so just choose the ones that you want. Have a mooch, games, movies, music, anything, magazines, books, things like that. Essentially guys, what you have here is your back button on the left, your home button in the middle, which will take you straight back to the home page if you ever get confused if you're not used to Android or you're not used to this type of tablet. This third button here is going to give you all the tabs that are already open on the device. So the more things you do, the more websites you start to look at, they will list literally from top to bottom in different things. I will just very quickly show you what I mean. So I've opened a few. When you go there, like I said, they will just list what's already open to save you having to keep going, looking for it. If you don't want loads of things open at the same time, swipe to the side and it will just get rid of the things that are already there. And that essentially, guys, that is the basic setup for Android. KitKat 4.4 on the Nexus MemoPad 7. I hope that's been helpful, guys. If there's anything that you need, to, if there's anything you want to question me about, pop me a comment underneath this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if that's been helpful for you, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for some more videos 
when any tech or blogs come out. I will speak to you guys soon and I hope you will. Take care. Bye bye. So as soon as you open up your Chromebook, um, you will have the protective pad. When it starts up, this is what you're going to see.